This is the story of Rahul. He owns a store where he sells clothes and has big dreams for his business. Recently, he got a new machine that lets customers pay with their credit cards. It's called a POS machine, kind of like a cash register. But then something bad happened. Because of COVID-19, Rahul's store started losing money. He couldn't pay back the loans he took from the bank to grow his business. Rahul felt really stressed out about it. One day, a man named Mr. Tulsi Ram came to Rahul's shop. He seemed friendly and bought a lot of clothes. While they were talking, Rahul mentioned his dream of making his store bigger, but he said he needed money to do it. That's when Mr. Tulsi Ram said something surprising. He told Rahul that he smuggles gold illegally. He wanted to clean his dirty money, and he had a plan. He suggested using Rahul's POS machine to swipe credit cards and get cash. In exchange, Mr. Tulsi Ram promised to give Rahul 20% of the money. Rahul thought this sounded like an easy way to make some extra cash, so he agreed without really thinking about it. Now it's up to us to spot any suspicious activity using the dashboard we made with Power BI. Now, uh, if you remember our story, we know that a credit card transaction performed by this person is suspicious, right? Tulsi Ram is suspicious. And you can see from the visualization, this is quite clear. Okay. First one is for July and August, uh, the credit card transit uh, has a decrease, but for September and October, it is the same as the credit card limit. And if you uh, look at the next figure, that is total credit transaction versus credit limit, you can see that this person has utilized full credit card limit okay in august it, it is showing 40 percent right but for uh, like september and october it is almost 100 percent so you can see from here also so the credit card limit assigned to this person was five lakh for july and august he has only utilized three lakh and two lakh but september and october he has fully utilized his credit limit so this is suspicious because this person is maxing out his credit card limit for the last two months right and another major giveaway is this person is performing credit card transaction from only one this particular place this is mahima impex right uh, yeah, so maybe some kind of business house at the Kathmandu, Nepal and uh, you can also look from the map okay it is only showing one data point meaning this person has performed credit card transaction from one particular location by the help of visualization we can identify suspicious transaction pattern now the important thing is that after visualization now you can create a new scenario so in this case a scenario can be generate an alert for those individuals who max out their credit card above 80 percent for every month from a single location so now after creating that scenario it will only generate the alert of this kind of individuals so it will help you to save your time and effort in identifying only those suspicious transactions so similarly you can look uh, through other customers right if there are any new patterns or not